Hi, welcome to Craft Live. Today we're going to be making some fall or Halloween themed wood crafts. So you're going to just need a piece of scrap wood cut to the size that you want. I have three different sizes here. You need some paint brushes and you're going to need some craft paint, just the regular um, paint from, you know, your craft store. And I've already done Dracula here. And um, so you can kind of see how he turned out. Um, if I did this again, I think I would maybe choose a little bit lighter color purple because some of his features are kind of hard to see. So to get started, after you've cut your wood, I would suggest um, just sanding it down just a little bit because I know like on my eye right here, I have a little, a little piece of wood that's sticking out and I would like that to just be softened up a little bit before I painted it. So then you're going to paint your solid background and let it dry. And after you do that, then you'll use a pencil to um, outline your design. Here is a ghost that's been outlined. And here we have Frankenstein. And if you're good at freehanding, then you can definitely freehand with the paint. But um, I think it's easier to go ahead and draw it and um, just color it in like the coloring book. So let's go ahead and do the ghost first. He's going to be nice and simple. We're going to paint him in with some black. And if you have a brush like this that is a straight edge, it makes it really easy for going along the edges to make it really smooth. You just need a little bit of a steady hand. On the black, I guess actually if you wanted to, instead of painting, you could use a Sharpie as well. And it would end up looking about the same. And if you go outside the lines, it's easy to just paint back over it and smooth it up. It's a good thing about these craft paints is they're easy. Once it dries, you can paint back over it and fix any mistakes that you've made. And if I wasn't on a crunch for time, I would wait for this to dry and go ahead and do a second coat of paint. But for that today, I'm just going to go ahead and do this first coat and do the second coat later when you're not watching. And the good thing about um, this particular one, the ghost, you don't have to worry about your eyes matching each other because ghosts are scary. So you want them to be more asymmetrical and they don't have to match. So if you get outside the lines and mess it up, then it's okay. And we're going to have these on display here at the library, too, if you'd like to come in and see them in person. I smeared a little bit of black there, so it'll have to be painted over later with some white. I never claimed to be a painter that didn't make a mess. So there's our ghost. And I will add another layer of black later because it's not quite covering. So for Frankenstein, let's go ahead and fill in his hair. And as I'm up here by his head, you might notice the top of his head we did not paint. If you want to paint that, you can. It kind of gives it a more rustic look if it's not painted. If you want it to be more perfect, then definitely go ahead and paint it. It just kind of depends what you're going for in your decor. And 
and this black is covering a lot better on the green because the green is just a, um, a matte paint. I suggest using matte or um, satin paint. The white over there was a glossy paint and it makes it harder to cover up with other paint. And it also, as you can see on my eyes over there, they, they were done with the white glossy paint and they need another layer because it just doesn't quite cover and it shows more imperfections. So while I have the black, I'm gonna go ahead and do the black part of the eye and I'm gonna use a little narrow brush for it. These tiny brushes are great for the little details. <clears throat> I'm doing the center black piece first, and then I'll do the other black before I come back to the eyes. That way this has a little bit of chance to dry before we go right next to it with another color. So there's the black part of those eyes. And let's do his eyebrows. They're just going to be a straight line. He needs his Frankenstein scar. And his mouth. So you can see these really come together really quickly. And your kids could even help you with them. So let's go back up here to the eyeballs. And I have a, a flat white for this. We're gonna see if it covers better than the glossy white did on the other ones. And it just says on the bottle what kind of paint it is. So you shouldn't have any problem at the store figuring it out if you're buying. And I'm going to keep his eyeballs green, so I'm not going to color in that little center part. If you wanted to make them a different color, you definitely could. As you can see, this paint's not quite showing the streaks like the other one did. It'll still need more than one layer, but... And the black has already dried almost all the way. And once this dries, I will go ahead and add another coat to that as well. And rinse my paintbrush off. I like to use a sponge to get a little bit of the extra water off of it. 
It's a great trick even when you're watercoloring. And the center part here is going to be white. To give them a little bit of sparkle. And we'll do the white on this eye as well, and then we'll be finished with Frankenstein. With the exception of another layer of white. But... Fill that in. And there we have Frankenstein to go along with our other Halloween creatures. So I hope you enjoyed this craft live, and if you make some, go ahead and um, snap a picture and let us see it. Bye!